Archbishop Augustine Kasuja. The Apostolic Nuncio, otherwise known as the Papal Nuncio, or the Ecclesiastical Ambassador of the Holy See to Nigeria, His Excellency Archbishop Augustine Kasuja turned 70. His Excellency Archbishop Kasuja, born April 26, 1946, to the modern family of Yosufe and Catalina Naloswa of Sango Mitila Maria in Impigate district of Uganda, is the fourth child in a family of 13. He studied at Sango and Mitila Maria primary schools before joining Kusibo Minor Seminary in 1960 to 1965. He progressed to Katigondo Major Seminary in 1966-67 to and Auburn University, Rome in 1967-74. to He was ordained a priest by Pope John Paul VI at the St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican on January 6, 1973 for the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Kampala. Archbishop Kasuja worked as an assistant priest at Mubende and Ketende in 1974-75 and later joined the Pontifical Ecclesiastical Academy, the Vatican Diplomatic School, in 1975-79. This was the start of his diplomatic journey. In 1979, Archbishop Kasuja was appointed the first secretary to the Apostolic Nuncier in Argentina and later transferred to Haiti in 1982 to 86, Bangladesh in 1986 to 1990, Portugal in 1990 to 1992, Peru in 1992 to 1995, Trinidad and Tobago in 1995 to 96. Between 1996 and 98, he was charged the affair at the Vatican Embassy in Algiers, Algeria. In 1998, he made church history to be appointed as the first African representative of the Pope. And also on the 2nd of February 2010, Pope Benedict XVI appointed him as the first African Apostolic Nuncio to Nigeria. A multilinguist, Archbishop Kasuja speaks African tribal languages. English, Italian, French, and German. When asked about the septuagenarian, some members of the Abuja Nusiecha community had this to say. Nuncio, you are our father, and a father that we are so proud of should not plan his birthday. Your children will do it for you. And when we passed the message, every member of this community was excited to be part of this celebration. And we thank God the day has come, and we are also... His humility and his, uh, his, uh, his, his love and uh, charming. And, uh, you know, he's such a person who mixes very easily with other people, you see. So I really would like to take this opportunity to congratulate him for getting to 70 years and wish him another many more years ahead. Friend, he has a heart. He is a man uh, with experience. This, uh, I cannot say this friendship. Friendship. Three years more than a normal diplomatic person, which means one thing or another. That he has managed to immerse himself acceptably, profitably into the Nigerian community, into the Catholic community in Nigeria, and the diplomatic community. So, a man who has obtained so much, he is definitely not accepted. I'm glad to be here. I have not met talking one and one, but I know him as Catholic, I know him by reputation. I know him by performance, I know him because he's somebody I respect intellectually. He's a true son of America. I've made a world class to the Catholic community and to the diplomatic community. Nuncio is not only our Archbishop, our link to the Pope, 
He is also our parish priest here. And um, we thank God for him because he really has operated uh, in, in the course of his duty, spiritual and uh, as an um, ambassador. In context, being an African, understanding our peculiarities, and we, uh, we give glory to God. And um, Father Raymond is indeed an enigma, and clearly God's blessings are upon him. And we, we are grateful and we are happy to be part of this celebration. Father Raymond Iki, born on the 21st of April 1936 in Dublin, Ireland, is the second child of Tom and Gladys Hickey. He was baptized a few days later at the chapel of St. Locan Otole, an Irish saint in Climacod. He attended National Primary School and later the Augustine Secondary School in New Ross. He was inspired by his paternal uncle, who was an Augustian priest at the time, to apply to be an Augustian novice after his secondary school. In 1956, he was sent to Rome to study theology at the Georgian, a Jesuit university. Father Raymond was ordained a priest on the 21st of February 1960 and was posted to Prefecture of Medjugorje which had been confined by the Roman to the Irish Augustian Providence for evangelization later the same year. At age 24, Father Raymond Iki arrived in Nigeria. The prefecture covered the President Boronu and Yobe state and spent 28 years living in the most remote villages on the fringes of Kanuri Empire. The extreme weather conditions took a toll on him leaving him with a rare form of skin cancer and a serious voice problem. For the past 22 years, he has been attached to the Apostolic Nunciature, first in Lagos for seven years and later moved to Abuja in 2001. When asked about his life, work and challenges, he said, and I quote, I had never wanted an office or a teaching job, but God had other plans for me. One door was closed because of my vocal limitation, but another was opened, and I have appreciated my office job in the Nusiatia more and more with the passing of years. It has been demanding, but also highly fulfilling, and I soon squared it with my missionary vocation. And now, as I thank God for the past 80 years of my life, 56 of which have been spent in Nigeria, what more can I say? Nagode, certainly. But I must also be ready for the cross whenever the moment arrives. Life cannot be complete without it. End quote. The octogenarian is known for his down to earth personality, fluency in various Nigerian dialects, and vast knowledge of the history of the Catholic Church in Nigeria. <laughs> to say that but Nigeria when I came in 1960 they said this is a country with great potential and I hear the very same words today being said this is a country with great potential so I ask why has that potential so you're speaking to a Nigerian and unless you are older than uh, 56 I am more Nigerian than you <laughs> no, what's the so what's the basically because you got together in 1960 
in a federation of three very different culturally uh, regions and you are still very different culturally but you have lived together and Nigeria has stayed together and that is a huge achievement and we see what has happened between southern Sudan and Sudan we see what has happened between Eritrea and uh, Ethiopia when they divide up so my message is you have a wonderful achievement in staying together in Nigeria continue and remain together for better or worse like a good marriage to appreciate an exceptionally great man with double crown as an ambassador to the Vatican to Nigeria and a higher spiritual leader in the Catholic Church and his co-celebrant Father Ray, a missionary by excellence, the Nusiatia community in Abuja organized a special birthday in their honor. The celebration began with a Holy Mass at Apostolic Nusiatia in Maitam, Abuja. The Mass was attended by His Eminence, John Cardinal Onaikon, the Archbishop of Abuja. The Archbishop of Kampala, Archdiocese of Uganda, His Grace, Cyprian Kizito Luanga, His Excellency Dr. Augustin Kasuja, the celebrant, Father Raymond Iki, co-celebrant, representatives of Catholic Bishop Conference of Nigeria, Reverend Father Linus Kapla of the National Missionary Seminary of St. Paul, Guabolada, prominent politicians, members of the Diplomatic Corps, top government functionaries and members of the new CHA community. While delivering homily at the Mass, the Archbishop of Kampala, Archdiocese of Uganda, His Grace, Cyprian Kizitu Luanga, reiterated the need for peace amongst us. Let us have peace in our families. I don't know whether you have domestic violence in Nigeria. Do you know who? So the Zari speaker should remind you have peace in what? <laughs> Then the fourth finger, <coughs> let us have peace with our neighbors. Don't cause unnecessary battles with your neighbor. And then last but not least, let us have peace within our country. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. So whenever you shake hands, remember the five. Peace with God our Creator, peace within yourself, with your families, neighbor. With that introduction, I bring you very warm greetings. Not only warm, but also prayerful greetings from my home country, Uganda. When I told them I was coming to Nigeria, they said, wonderful, those are our brothers and sisters. And every year now, for quite a number of years, we have pilgrims coming to Uganda, the knights and ladies of St. Matthias Do you have some here? Yes. yes. We are always most welcome. Yeah. When I arrived at the airport and the passport control, the gentleman told me, you are most welcome to the giant of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and indeed, Nigeria is a giant of our continent. And the news show has taken me out to a big Benin city. And then yesterday we were at Urombi. Urumi, Urumi, and indeed Nigeria is a giant, so we are very happy to be uh, with you here. I didn't come alone, I came with the brother, brother Innocent, the most innocent man in the world in this one. I came with the sister Queen Francis. Thank you. 
this has already been uh, introduced. So we are here. We are here to share the joy of our jubilarians. Happy birthday to Your Excellency. Happy birthday, to Father Raymond. I think we shall sing that later. and learn to be people of acceptance, tolerance, openness, and trust. Lord, hear us. His Eminence John Cardinal Nonaeco thanks His Excellency Archbishop Kasuja and Father Raymond Hickey for their commitment in the work of God in Nigeria. of the Archdiocese of Abuja to our two celebrants, our Nuncio, Augustine Kasuja, and our old missionary and uh, ever strong uh, Raymond Hickey. We have seen the goodwill of the people, their joy, the appreciation of what you have been to all of us. And may the Lord continue to wish you, continue to be with you. Uh, Your Excellency Kasunja, uh, as you know, you are first in many things, you know, because you are the first African nuncio we ever had in this giant of Africa. to tell us uh, that uh, our being giant doesn't mean that uh, we are being better than they. <laughs> that you have faced this and faced this and faced that. And okay, it's good to be fair, but that's not the last end of truth. So we have other things to come. Yes. Uh, we admit there's no, we cannot uh, over, overtake you in being the first bishop, the first priest, and the first non African non seal. We are not finished yet. We don't know whether you get the first African Pope. <laughs> At least that one is still uh, available. <laughs> Last night, the Nuncio called me and asked, please, can you uh, deliver the homily? I said, uh -uh, why? He said, because I had Bishop uh, Cyprian has a very bad cold. I said, well, I mean, what has God got to do with the homily? <laughs> we are not telling him to come and sing. <laughs> and then we are asking him to simply to come and talk to us. So but Mr. said, please prepare something in case, in case he cannot make it. And up till now, up till the time we arrived here, there was still argument whether I was to come and talk. I got ready in case, but I was quite sure I wasn't going to allow him not to talk. And I'm, I'm glad I did force him to talk. I don't think it was too bad. <laughs> we learned a lot. Uh, we welcome our brother, Archbishop Cyprian, from Kampala, a very famous city, for many things. Because we connected with Nigeria, you know. We had a lot of this in Kampala at some point in our history. So, and we pray that God will take you back home safely and we'll take good care of your nation. We, we are all in the, in the 
turbulence together. <laughs> we are all in the turbulence together. But the wonderful thing is the faith of our people. No matter what happens, the people have faith in God, they pray, and that is keeping everything going. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Your Excellency, Consider, for the good, great work you are doing in our midst here. Um, I'm sure you must be jealous of St. Paul, who, having preached to the people along the Cappadocia coast once, and coming back after a few months, was already appointed bishops along the way. Now, you have a rough time appointing bishops, <laughs> or helping to appoint bishops in Nigeria. It's no longer as easy as it was in those days. But it is still the same Holy Spirit that is guiding the process. Uh, we know what he, the burden that he carries, and we thank him for the work that he is doing. We wish you all the best. Welcome to the Club of Septuagenarians. Yeah. At the appropriate time, you come and register with me. Father <laughs> Hickey. <laughs> I'm just reading a book, a book that was uh, published just a few months ago by the SMEs about the first three missionaries in uh, uh, Shendam. The first three SMA fathers who came to Shendam in uh, 1906, isn't it? Yes, 1906. 1906. 1906. 1907. I'm in the middle of the book, a very fascinating uh, uh, book about the life of the early missionaries who were headed for nowhere actually, strictly speaking. They were headed for nowhere. The last place they knew that there was, there were fellow missionaries was Lokoja. So they came as far as Lokoja and from that point on they were on their own. And it is a very fascinating book. The kind of people like us should also read and see how the gospel of the Lord can make its way in the most unusual circumstances. One thing is certain, the ancestors of these guys there from Shendam welcomed the missionaries warmly. And it is clearly put there. One of the remembering my book is that uh, you look like an ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are a bit younger than the, all those guys there. But uh, uh, like the gentleman who said he baptized him, you must be an, an old ancestor. <laughs> my first, the first contact with Father Hickey was not face to face, but from a book he wrote, a very interesting book, long ago. Remember your case for an auxiliary uh, priesthood? That was my first time I said, but who is this Hickey talking like this? But it's interesting. After that, our next meeting, the first face to face was at Abucha, 1984, when I had the honor of being invited to ordain one Holy Ghost Father. It was my first ordination, so all these firsts, and I tried to handle it. <laughs> and uh, I was a young, very handsome auxiliary mission. <laughs> I was a young, handsome auxiliary bishop in uh, the Lorry. The young auxiliary bishop in the Lorry, and uh, my good friend James Okoye, who was the superior of the Holy Ghost Fathers came and asked me, please, will you ordain one of our deacons? Well, I didn't know who it was. All I was, all I did is that if he was not good enough, he wouldn't come and tell me to ordain him. And so I landed in the yard, and the next day, we went by road to Amucha. 84, the roads were impossible. <laughs> and we reached Amucha where there was no church. There was a typical pre Biafra arrangement where you send mass in classrooms. And that was when we ordained uh, uh, our friend Polybus Odonzo, who is, by the way, now is a professor of moral theology in Notre Dame University, Indiana. Wow. I was with him only two weeks ago. Well, so there's a, that has kept a bit of a link between us, but you know, he, he, he has been with us now in Abuja, he has become part of the landscape. <laughs> <laughs> he has become part of our landscape here, yeah? and we hope he will continue for many more years. You have proved that you are strong. Because the Bible says, those of us who reach 70, we have reached the sum of our years. If we are strong, we will reach it. Yes. You have reached it. Congratulations. <laughs> I, I don't know whether 
I will reach it. But I will tell you, when halfway to, if I'm still looking well, I will ask Jesus to let me reach it. But if I'm not, if I'm not looking too well, I will just tell the place, it's okay, let's go. I'm ready to, I'm ready to come and rejoice. <laughs> thank you very much, Father Hiki. Thank you very much. Your grace, Archbishop Kasuya. May the blessings of the Lord be with you all. And I thank all these wonderful people. Uh, all my congregations are wonderful, you know. Whether it is in a, a Lady Queen or Holy Trinity, or whether it is Igu or Sabo Kau, I have wonderful congregations. But this one is special. This congregation is not only wonderful, but very colorful. Yeah. I mean, the Lord Jesus be with you all. After the mass celebration, the celebrants and the guests gather together to feast and celebrate with tributes, dancing, cake cutting and cultural displays. In her opening speech at the event, Our Excellency Pauline Tallinn, who chaired the initiator community that hosted the celebrants, had this to say.
Engineer Otis Oliver Tabogo Anyeje used the opportunity to read a citation of His Excellency Archbishop Augustine Kasui. Initiate your community member gave a brief citation of Father Raymond Hickey, who baptized him as an infant. Because he needs that for his voice. So working in those fringes affected his voice. To the Apostolic Nonsicio, he started in Lagos, and from there he moved down to Abuja, where he invited me to join the congregation here back then in 2001. We used to be only four people during morning mass. And Sunday mass, we were blessed if we were up to eight. Today, you can see the rest is history. And now, Father Ray is 80 years old, and I'll tell you something, he's very approachable, a very humble man. I was privileged to enter his bedroom once. He get your tennis racket and fix a date with him. May the Lord bless and keep you at Muto Zanos. A special rendition in honor of the celebrants.
behalf of the youth in the Nuncio community, we congratulate Father Raymond and the Apostolic Nuncio on their on these feats that they have achieved. Because honestly, these are feats. 70 and 80, it's not it's not a little thing to achieve. And we really congratulate them. And we wish them many happy returns and many more years. And so I want to 
again on behalf of the diplomatic community, wish you God's richest blessing and many, many more happy returns. Thank you.
presence is the Catholic of the church. You know, in the creed we say, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And what's amazing, wherever you go in the world and you find the Catholic church, you just feel at home. So I'm at home in Nigeria, and more so that one of our sons from my diocese is the apostolic nuncio to this country. So we're happy to be here to celebrate the 70th uh, birthday anniversary together with that of Father Raymond. And we'd like to thank the local church here for its, uh, they have treated him very, very well. They love him, they look after him very well. He took us to Benini City the day before yesterday. We also participated in the celebration of the bishop who celebrated 10 years of his uh, ordination. Yesterday we were in Urumbi, Urumi, 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 Urumi Diocese, and they celebrated 10 years since their foundation. So it's nice to be here, and it's beautiful to be Catholic, and we are grateful to God for that. And to this uh, community? First of all, I'm very impressed by their commitment. I pray with them every day. They come in the morning. We, had, we have some time of adoration of the Eucharist, after which we have Holy Mass, from where they go and work. That is a manifestation of their faith in God, that whatever they do, they start with the Word of God, and then they move on. So we are impressed and we pray for their deepening and growth in their faith. After much sharing, it was this time to cut the cake. In the church, about peace. I think that is what we are carrying over here today. And as the cultural group danced, there was only one music, one rhythm, one tune that many tribes danced to the tune. Um, I want to believe that God is here with us. And of course he is. This is the God we see. Um, we are going to um, cut this gate based on the word peace. Peace in ourselves, peace in the church, peace in the family, peace amongst our neighbors, peace in the world. Amen. And I believe that when we eat this cake, no matter how small it is, the miracle of the feeding of the multitude will happen in each and every one of our lives. Uh, once more, may I remind everybody that our love with this nuncia and the people operating on it, our holy ones, lies in the fact that the, the message they sent to us, as the, uh, His Excellency the Ambassador said, we take away. Very soon, we are going to have 
a huge volumes and volumes of uh, uh, works of uh, the papal nuns here. That is the product of what he has done for us. Thank you, Your Excellency. So on the word, the pronunciation of, uh, I mean the spelling, the spelling of, uh, when we say P, everybody announce, says P after us. P, P, E, E, A, A, C, C, E, E. The toast was given by the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Geoffrey Onyema. ...go to hell in such a wonderful way that you look forward to going there. But, um, but you're a, a different diplomat, and we know that that is not uh, at all what you would be wishing or even saying uh, to, to anybody. But um, the both of you really are fantastic successors of St. Paul. Missionaries far away from home, facing whatever the trials and the tribulations you are confronted with, with such equanimity, such faith, such hope, and of course such charity. We're immensely proud of you for that. And we as Nigerians have to see the lesson, I mean we're talking of peace here, that you have brought to us. Father Raymond has been here for 56 long years and as His Excellency said, you know, if he had to stay in a country not his own for even 35 years, he would almost go mad. Now you can imagine staying in a country like Nigeria, which is not like any other country, for 56 years. And he's still striving, waxing, and um, in fact, we can't here have him as 70 years. I think that's because nobody can quite believe that he has uh, reached 80 years uh, of age. But it's, uh, it's a phenomenal um, achievement. We're truly in your, in your debt. You have come here to our country to preach the gospel to our people, but as important is your personal example, your humility, your simplicity, your commitment, and the sacrifice that you're ready to make. These are all qualities that we aspire to see more of in, uh, in our country. Thank you very, very, very much for everything you have done for this country. Um, a lot has already been said by so many people and I think the turnout here is a true testimony to the impact you have had uh, on the lives of so many uh, people. And as I was telling them during a, an earlier interview on uh, television, that almost every day you are in some part of the country 
far away, taking great risks. We heard today of uh, the near tragedy that was averted on one of your recent trips. And these are the hazards that you are braving. The same kinds of hazards, of course, that your precursor, St. Paul, also faced as he went around the world preaching the gospel. So we are so happy to have the honor and the privilege to share this day uh, with you. And um, thank you on behalf of, I said, everybody, uh, the country, the government, um, for everything that, that you have done. And have done so elegantly and um, so spiritually as well. So I'm going to, um, okay, it's already been done for me, so I don't have to pop the bottle of champagne but to ask you all to rise up and um, raise our glasses to two very exceptional human beings that we in this country have been blessed to have in our midst. So we raise our glasses. Well, what can we say? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. May God continue to bless you always. Amen.
terrific and uh, it shows that the children of God are, are celebrating. Where you find the children of God, you see the Holy Spirit moving, everything in order, in peaceful <coughs> coherence, and everything that is good. You know, God is good. And wherever the Spirit of the Lord moves, the goodness moves, life moves. Like he told us in the scripture, that wherever the water flows, there is life. You can see here, there is life, because God's presence is here with us. Well, they are wonderful people. We are celebrating them because they are wonderful. They are chosen children of God. We call them the priests of the order of Mekidezek. And they will continue to be priests forever. We love them and we ask them to continue to be themselves. Meaning that they have been working and they will continue to work in the God's vineyard as children of God and the chosen children of God within the order of the Mekidezek. Speaking last is that you actually don't have to say anything. Just wish the celebrants happy birthday and probably take your seat. But let me say, let me say this. I'm very sincerely too. For His grace, I think that we are blessed to have you in our midst. And we thank God that you are serving in Nigeria at this point in time. I think before I traveled last week, we were discussing, and you said there are only two states in Nigeria you've not visited. I don't think any other Papa Nonsu has that record. So we thank you for your work of evangelization, for touring this country, and for speaking up as much as you, as you can. And we hope you will stay longer with us, and you will continue to impact on us because we do enjoy your sermon every Sunday. And that is the truth of it. So thank you for your, for your words of wisdom. Father Ray, you know, in my tradition, the young ones actually don't talk about the old ones. What do you say about the man who is 80 years old today and came to this country when he was 24 years old? I served in the diplomatic community for many years, and I can imagine if I've been sent to one country and spent almost 50 something years in that country. I think I would go mad. That's the truth. But he has stayed, not just in Abuja, but in so many parts of the country, and speaks a number of Nigerian languages. Father Ray, you're extraordinary. We thank God for your life. And we hope that the good Lord will continue to bless you. And let me also say to you that last night, my wife and I were having a discussion about today's event. And one thing we said about Father Ray is that he's a church historian. We want to thank God Almighty. We want to thank our Holy Father, the Pope, for giving us a person like the nuncio to be in Nigeria at this time. The nuncio has been a great bridge for the Nigerian Catholic Church and the Nigerian people. We want to thank God Almighty also for giving us Reverend Fathers like Father Hickey. These are priests that have dedicated their life and everything they have to humanity and to the good of God. And I'm sure that God will surely reward all of you at the appropriate time in Jesus Christ's name. After much fanfare and joyful sharing, the celebrants gave their vote of thanks to the community. The organizing committee of our new city chapel who have done everything to make this possible. 
at the beginning, I was thinking that my 70 years and the, seven, and the 80 years of Father Remo which would be celebrated in a group of 20, 30 people only. To make it simple, because I'm always usually simple. But the, some individuals from this community of the New Center said, don't worry, we shall take care of everything. You, we will make our thing. Don't, you be there. <laughs> you be there, we can make our thing. And they organized this thing, and as you see it, up to date. I want to thank, I will not mention the names because all the members of this community have really participated as you see that they are all present here. I thank first of all the Minister of Foreign Affairs who has honored us with his uh, prestigious presence, <laughs> honorable presence representing the minister, the ministry of which we are the same tribe, as Dr. Martin used to say. I thank the ambassadors. The ambassador of Jamaica expressed the sentiments of all the ambassadors and the, the members of the diplomatic corps. I, I thank her and I thank all the ambassadors who have been able, and diplomats who have been able to attend this gathering. I thank all our friends, even those who are not part of this community, usually, but they have attended this, this uh, celebration, which is very historical. When we read in the Old I see Psalm 90, verse 10 and verse 12. But for those who have good health, up to 80. Father Imo asked me this. I asked Father Imo this morning, how do you feel when we are celebrating your 80th birthday? And he told me, I feel that I am 10 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> so for me today, when I am celebrating 70 years old, I am aspiring to 80. <laughs> and I wish that one day I reach there. One thing I would like to say, for me when I was born, my father and my mother, my mother told me that I was born at 2 o'clock in the morning on the 26th of April. That is springtime. Even the plants begin to give flowers. Then I was the fourth in my family. My mother, had 13 children. Yes, because they were married, and she was married at the age of 16. And I came to be number four to be born. <laughs> Two days after my birth, I was baptized, because I was born in the maternity center just besides the, our parish church. Some of some knights of St. Murumba have visited, have seen that maternity center. That's a very small maternity center, but old enough to produce a, a nuncio of seven years, 70 years old. Mm. I continued. One of my brothers is, a, is also a priest. He's now a professor at the university. Uh, but now, I want to present to you the Archbishop of Kampala. That is the diocese where I grew up. It is his predecessor who sent me to Rome for studies and then for the diplomatic service. Archbishop is called Cyprian Ichizito Wanga. All three names are names of matters. Cyprian was a saint in North Africa and Tunis in Tunis in Carthage. Chizito Wanga are two of the matters of Uganda. So he's a very matter for the church. I thank him for coming because he's representing the whole church of Uganda. Where myself as a priest born in the a, a diocese of Kampala, after 43 years as a priest, 
I worked it only one year there. The rest of the time, I am going around the world in different countries, Argentina, South America, Peru, and so on and so on. But he traveled with the, there is a priest from the Catholic Diocese, Father John Baptist. There is a sister, a sister also from Kampala Diocese, founded by his predecessor, the Sisters of Good Samaritans. We know what the Good Samaritans do. Yeah. Yes. Taking the, the street you will see. <laughs> then he traveled also with a religious brother, not a priest, but a religious brother. Some people were asking him, the Uromi at the Benin city, and I was asking him, Pastor, what did you tell you? <laughs> he said, I'm not a pastor, I am a brother. He is a brother, and he is working together with the Archbishop. After his university studies, he is working in the church of counseling uh, and so on, and many other activities of that license. We thank him for accompanying the Archbishop on this journey. And this father here is a professor of philosophy after his studies in Great Belgium. He has been teaching philosophy in the National Seminar of Uganda for 26 years. <laughs> so he's a good formator of future priests and many others who he started to teach already now a priest. Their presence here makes the whole church of Uganda present here with the Church of Nigeria to this together my university. I thank him. And I'm also happy to be beside the Charging Affair of Uganda. You know our ambassador left this country last year because he was a candidate for parliamentary elections. Even though he lost, but he was a candidate. <laughs> so he went away, and uh, this gentleman came as the, in October as the charge that then is Mr. Nelson. Nelson. Okay. Okay. So we thank you. We thank you for your presence. Your presence makes the government of Uganda present at this celebration too. I know. President uh, or President Museveni, I met him in a private audience after my official coordination in his house. Thank you for your presence and all the work that you are doing now. As I wish that you would come the ambassador next. <laughs> the minister had it. <laughs> so, and uh, all the others, I thank you so much for your presence here and uh, I can only say I pray for each one of you and I thank you for your prayers. I know you have cooperated a lot in to prepare this 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 this, this occasion. When you come that everything is already here, you cannot imagine what has preceded this organization. I thank you so much. May God bless you always. Amen. Alright, can you just give it two more minutes while the Ray wants to say something? Hold on. Well, I was to say, but um, so, yeah, I have to. Okay, very good. And what I say is a prayer. Thank you. And it is a prayer which can be adapted to somebody who is 60 or 70 or 80 or even 90. But in this case, we made out for somebody who was 80. So let us pray. Today, dear Lord, I'm 80. There's so much I haven't done. I hope, dear Lord, you let me live until I'm 81. <laughs> but then if I haven't finished all that I want to do, will you let me stay a while until I'm 82? <laughs> So many places I want to go, so very much yet to see. Do you think you could manage to make it 83? The world is changing very fast. There is so much in store. I'd very much like to live until I'm 84. And if by then I'm still alive, why? I'd like to stay alive until I'm 85. By then, more planes will be in the air, and I'd really, really like to see. 
what happens to the world when I am in space. Something wrong there. I'd really like to mix to see what happens to the world when I am in space. I know, dear Lord, it's much to ask. Uh, and it must be nice in heaven. But really, I'd like to stay here until I'm 87. I know by then I won't be fast and sometimes come very late. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be pleasant to be here when I'm 88? I would then have seen so many things and had a wonderful time. So I'm sure I'll be willing to leave when I am 89. No, you're wrong there. When I am 99. Amen. On behalf of the entire Nuncio Show community who love you so much, who just wish the Nuncio will remain here till his hundred. Yes. We will send a special letter to, to the Holy Father, making that special request. We hereby present this little card to His Excellency on behalf of all the members of the Nunciature. You can move it, yes. And Father Ray at 80. Thank you. Oh, we are praying that you all wish. Thank you, thank you. We pray you all get to move it. 299 and 100. No, 99, then they can dialogue with God. Wow. Every signature is here. Yes, sir. Everybody that loves Father, you. Open yours. Mm. Open yours, Father. Oh. Oh. Arab Arabic, so written Arabic. Every, <laughs> every signature is here. Mm. Mm. I wrote my own. I wrote my own in Swahili. Oh, Swahili. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is it. So we thank the crew <laughs> from this. Uh, <laughs> Catholic. Television that I hear, NTA, Good Shepherd. In fact, the Good Shepherds are so wonderful. I got the piece last night at about 10 o'clock, and he said, Them don't worry, we'll be here. And, and the whole crew are here. So we hope to see it on Catholic Television. Father Lumugu is here. Can you please give him a big round of applause? <laughs> Thank you. No words can thank the members of the planning committee and all those that have first slipped slip this night to ensure that this occasion became a success. But before we allow you to go back to your seat, Your yes. Excellency and Father Ray, we want to have a group photograph with you, all the members of the planning committee and all the members of the social community. They all want to slap with you for us. Yes. 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 Yes.